Live pictures at the memorial of George Floyd scheduled to start in just a few moments. This is North Central University, a campus right near downtown Minneapolis. People from the political world here in Minnesota, our senator, governor, the mayors, U.S. attorney scheduled to be there. Uh, also, uh, leaders from around the country, Reverend Jesse Jackson Sr. is there, Al Sharpton, the reverend, uh, scheduled to give the eulogy out at this as well. Our Reg Chapman is outside the sanctuary there. He's been watching these officials and leaders walk into the church, but Reg, we've also seen people gathering who aren't invited to the service, but gathering in support. What are you seeing there now? Well, the street outside the worship center here, outside of North Central University, Heather, is now packed full of well-wishers for the family of George Floyd. They could not go on side, but felt an urgent need to be here. A lot of these people are the same faces that we saw outside of 38th in Chicago that were outside the memorial for George. If you look right here, people are still waiting for the family to arrive. These are people that, that really have invested a lot of time into marching, into protesting, as well as healing outside of that memorial at 38th in Chicago. We're seeing people here from Shakopee, people from Burnsville, from the south side of Minneapolis, as well as from the north side of Minneapolis. They're all coming together in the spirit of unity, in the spirit of solidarity to show their support for George Floyd's family. Once again, as you said, dignitaries are coming in to the worship center for the beginning of this service. We're still waiting on family members to arrive. People just want to get a glimpse of of them because they say although they're not invited inside as family but they feel like they are family that's why they are here people tell me seeing the images of George Floyd over and over and over again has endeared him to them and they consider him a part of family so right now streets are packed outside this chapel waiting for the family to arrive waiting for that moment when they all get to memorialize George Floyd guys right. back to you yeah Reg thanks so much reporting for us live from North Central University a memorial for George Floyd has blossomed in South Minneapolis. We want to take you there right now. Our Jennifer Mayerly is live at 38th in Chicago. Jen. And we just learned, we've been hearing from speakers all morning, we've just learned that they plan to stream the audio of that memorial service right, so that folks here at 38th in Chicago can listen and can be part of it as they are here you where know, George know. Floyd lost his life. I spoke to someone just a short time ago who said, do you see all the people here? Do you see the people who are from different communities, different walks of life, different cultures, different ages, all having conversations? They said, that's what's so important. This is what is happening as a result of, of, of all the turmoil that has happened and the anger and grief. They're healing by talking. Listen in. Do you hear that? They're they've been chanting, they've been saying his name, George Floyd. This is part of what is happening here on the day that there is a private memorial service for George Floyd. People are honoring him and they are honoring all who have lost their lives. Uh, to police officers, but they say this is the here. place that they feel safe, that they can talk to each other, that we can start to move forward. Back to you. Jen Mayerly, thank you. I want to show you some images from inside the memorial at North Central University from not long ago. The funeral set to begin. We take you there live. Is that all right? Can I get somebody to see? This is a church. Can I get somebody to say amen? Let's show this family the dignity that they deserve. And if you come here to show them your respect, it really shouldn't matter where you sit at. So thank you so much for your cooperation, and God bless you.
walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Said I will fear no evil. Do what I 